fucking donkey. You might have seen a house fly, maybe even a super fly, but I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, and thank you for joining. Uh, now, in today's episode, uh, we're going to go through my trades, what, what we're thinking, what we're going to do now, because we are, we are just as confusion as you are. Okay, I don't know what to do. Just come and deal. Anyway, I've got some ideas. Okay, I'm going to share them with you. Uh, now, before I do that, um, I want to go to this video here. I want to say a special thank you to somebody. Um, this is the What Do I Do Now video. And when I pop on it, you'll see here. Right, when I pop on the video, this young man here, uh, Chris Hemmings, 7452, he donated $10. Uh, we would like to say thank you very much. This was our first donation. We're very happy. Just come and deal. I can buy two coffees now. Anyway, just want to say thank you very much. I really appreciate um, your support. We now look at our team of spuds, okay, and uh, as you can see, um, it's not too bad, but uh, it needs a lot of fixing, okay, now, uh, it has a lot of, lot of holes in here, um, the team looks good for round five and six, because players uh, that don't average much, like uh, uh, the, the ones you can see here, the 60s, they, they all come off the field, we don't need them, okay, and so we don't need them anymore, we can get a 60 of Williams off the field, these three can come off the field, so we've got best, best 18, but what happens in round seven when we can't do that, okay? Uh, we need players that can score uh, and get rid of these players, the, all the rookies off the field. That's priority. And uh, how many how many do we have to get off the field? Let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, and they're all in the forward line. That's three there. One in defense. That's four. And possibly uh, five, okay, if we count uh, McKercher, all right? So we've got five players that need replacing urgently. And McKercher's not as urgent, okay? But the other, the other four are, okay? So what are we going to do now? So we're going to try to try to find forwards. So here's plan, well, first plan. We've got a few plans, okay? Here's the first plan. We're going to trade out McKercher, okay? Now with McKercher, actually, let's put him back in there. Uh, it is too early to trade him out. His rank is 43. He'll get that easily. He's probably got another uh, 30k juice left in him. Okay, 30 or 40k. He could even get a lot more if he has a big score. So he could even go to 400k. He could have 100k left in him. But the problem is, we can't wait. Okay, uh, because uh, if you wait, you're going to, in round seven onwards, we're going to fall behind. Uh, so we need to get these players out. Plus, we need to find rookies for all of these players. Where are they going to come from? Okay, there are no rookies available in the market right now. I sent, I sent to the boys to the Victoria market looking for rookies. There's nothing left. Everyone's taken them. So we have a shortage of rookies. So we're going to try to get as many as we can to find them anyway. So McCurch is out. House. He's gone. Okay, House is out. Uh, we're going to also remove Campbell. Now, Campbell's also got some more cash to make. Uh, break even is 31. Uh, what did he score last week? Uh, last week he scored 57. He's got a 43. He's got a 31. He's going to make another maybe 20K in him, okay? Uh, but it's okay. We can let him go, all right? We, we can't juice him to the last second, okay? We, we can't be like a, a tight ass, okay? I get every cent, every cent out of them, okay? We're going we're gonna to try to get... Um, we're not playing for leagues. We're playing for overall. So it means... Uh, we have to um, get rid of them as soon as possible to bring in some new ones because we need the big boys in here. So, who's coming in? Okay, we're going... This This is a Gold Coast theme, this one. Everything here is Gold Coast, okay? So, we're going to go to Gold Coast. We're going to bring in all players I can afford. Okay, one's going to be Flanders. Okay, let's move Flanders to the forward line. One's going to be Clossy, and one's going to be Graham. Okay, so this is the first trade. Uh, now, what this does, if we complete the trades, okay, let's complete there. Now, it sort of uh, doesn't fix everything completely because what it does, let's move Sexton out of there. It um, gives me only two rookies on field in the forward line. However, 
it gives me an extra rookie nail in the midfield. So I sort of haven't fixed the problem, but I did get, I did increase the scoring, okay? So instead of a 70 from McKercher, I'm probably getting a 119 now from Flanders. So the, the scoring has increased, okay? We've, we've added an extra, uh, what is it, 50 points to our team. So that's plan A. Now, our second plan, okay? Um, we're going to remove Sexton, okay? He goes. We're going to bring in... Uh, Fife, Fife comes in, and we're going to trade out House, and this one only requires two trades, and Klossy comes in, so if we complete that trade, uh, what, what, what have we done, okay, well, well, this is actually, this probably works out financially better for us, we've, incre well, if we go on Fife's average is 85, but it, it should be more, now Fife, uh, has a break even of 26. Um, it's now or never for five because I don't want to pick up a five at 400k uh, when I don't, with the wobbly old legs he's got. So I don't want to pick up a grandpa at 400k. So with five, uh, in round one, he scored 103. In round two, he was subbed out at three quarter time. That score of 70 could have been a 95. Okay, so it's, there's another quarter to play. Uh, round four, he scored 102. In round three, he scored a 70. He played forward. Uh, it could have easily, if he played, stayed in the midfield, I mean, you could say if, all right, but if he did, he could have scored maybe an, a 90 or an 85. Or I don't know, okay, but it didn't happen. However, you have to consider uh, that this week, uh, Fife may get more midfield time because of the fact that Jackson might go forward if Shrek comes in. They can't have Fife, Jackson, uh, and all the others in that forward line. So it looks like Fife should get more midfield time now with, with um, Shrek in the team. So I'm liking, I'm really liking the Fife pick. I, I would never have picked Fife. In my, never in my dreams would I've, would I have thought of getting Fife into my team in round four and paying 350k for him. Just come it down. Anyway, that's plan two. And, and this one works. Only got two rookies on fields. Uh, plus the back lines are too bad. Okay, so... um. Two, two, two big problems here only. Now, let's get to the next option. Now, with this option, um, it requires uh, something that I don't recommend, okay? Uh, we've got Zach Williams. Uh, he's got a break-even. Uh, where's his break-even? Uh, his break-even is, um, is low. It's only seven, okay? So he's going to make a lot of cash. So this is probably one that I don't want to do, all right? I'll, I'll only do this if Zach Williams is not playing this week and he's injured, all right? So Zach Williams goes out, all right? Replacing him will be the Gold Coast rookie. Uh, let's go Klossy. Okay, Klossy goes there. Next to go out will be McKercher. And replacing McKercher will be uh, Fife from Frio. All right, so we've got Fife in there. So we've got one forward. And next to go out will be Campbell, and replacing Campbell will be another forward, and that'll be um, players I can afford. Uh, let's go down, Lukosius. Now, I'm getting desperate, okay? There's, there's nothing in it. If you go, if you go um, chopping and, and everyone's taking all the good stuff, you've got to get the left openers, okay? So, well, Lukosius is the next choice. Now, what this does, okay... Once I trade out one of uh, little Lacocious on field, now Fife will come over here, all right, to this spot. Uh, what is it? F F five, uh, F six. I'll get next week Combin. So that that fills up my my forward line. Okay, I've pretty much set. Uh, the only question mark is King, and um, we'll see how he goes. And and if he's a no good, I have to turn him into um, somebody else. Now. So then the midfield uh, becomes a bit weaker, all right? So we've got um, three rookies on the bench still, all right? Uh, we may have to keep Sanders and Roberts playing here a bit longer. And when it comes to round seven of our trades, uh, bring in uh, an upgrade, a big boy in here. Hopefully, uh, we don't know who's going to be, but it might be one of the Melbourne boys, okay? I'm, I'm liking Petrarca. So maybe I'll put Petrarca here. Or if Oliver improves, I'll get Oliver. We'll work it out anyway. So that's the plan. So this 
plan uh, for round seven anyway, uh, it fills up my entire uh, forward line. So it's functioning. Uh, the defense is functioning. I've still got Klossy there. Okay, he's not too bad. And uh, it's, it's, it's not too bad now. Okay, it's getting better. Okay, let's go to the next plan. Now, this next plan, uh, I don't really like it. Okay, uh, I've looked at it. Um, not, I was, I'll show it to you what I was going to do, but I don't really like it. I was going to trade out King, but the problem with King is his break even is still low. I can still make cash from him, and he can, he can also score 100. Uh, I don't really want to do this, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. Okay, so trading out King, uh, McKercher, and Williams, who I don't want to trade out either. Okay, I actually don't want to trade McKercher either, but I've got no choice. It's coming down. Anyway, we trade these spuds out, okay, and replace them uh, with Gold Coast. Uh, let's go here again. Klossy, okay. I'm going to call him Messi, okay. Uh, Klossy and Messi. It's the same thing. Uh, Lionel Messi, if you know Lionel Messi. Well, Klossy is, our, is now Messi. Now, so Messi goes there. Uh, we bring in, uh, again, Flanders, and we bring in five now this is a terrible trade okay um i've lost king uh, and i brought in five uh, i don't like this trade at all okay but it's another option anyway but it's not one that i'm gonna do now there is one last option uh, and um i'll show it to you okay i'll put this button on twitter and, uh, and if i do this um i'm gonna have to jump from somewhere okay uh the westgate bridge i'm gonna have to jump over if the, if it fails let me show you um sexton out uh, House is out. Uh, we're going to replace them. Actually, let's sub Wilson to the forward line. And McKercher is out. Okay. Let's go to Gold Coast. Uh, let's go over here. Klossy comes in. And uh, Graham comes in. And for the next spot, um, we bring in a spud. Okay. Um, because we have spud. We missed this spud, okay? Um, he's appeared on a show recently, and that's Nick Martin, and he comes in, and he'll, he'll take that um, F6 spot later on, okay? And it's still not too bad, because we still need an F6 to be taken as well. So we're giving it, oh, sorry, the D6, and we, so we're giving Nick Martin that D6 spot in two weeks' time if we complete this trade. Uh, now, uh, it'll be the return of the spud, Um I'm tempted to do this one as well. Uh, his break even is very low. Uh, it's 35, so it's now or never for Nick Martin. Uh, what, what what has he scored? A 63, then a 93, and a 136. These are killing me, these scores. So uh, this is another option, and uh, it's one that I'm actually considering. <laughs> okay, can you, now, Nick Martin and um, Fife, they've got similar break even, so I might as well go Martin, who's going to score more. Uh, and then just chuck him into the back line later on. Uh, very rarely have you have I ever uh, traded out a player uh, and then brought him back again uh, this early. Never. Okay, this is this is very unusual, but it's something that I'm thinking about. Uh, I'm actually highly considering it. Uh, so it's another option, and then I'll just bring in five next week. Uh, I get to see another week of five as well. Anyway. Uh, Let's see if there's any other options. Now, let's just for argument's sake say that we've done this trade, okay? We we sort of got the spud back and we're happy, okay? Let's just say that, okay? Now, uh, what do we do then next week? All right, now, I'm trying to show you something, all right? Let's go to players. Uh, let's go to, uh, we're trying to find rookies, all right? So players under three matches that are, in the rookie range, because we don't want to spend too much. We want to spend cheap as possible so that we can uh, bring more guns in. So, who's available next week? Uh, well, who played round four points? Well, there's a Graham, which we've already got. Uh, there's Ramsden. Uh, we don't know about his job security. We're going to find out. So he's 123k. All right. We've already got Klossy, okay, or Messi. Okay, Messi's in a team. We've got Ramsden available. Um, there's, that's it. Uh, there's nobody else. <laughs> well, maybe McC McCullough who can get if he plays, uh, or we can get a Rawlinson. Uh, but there's nobody. Or oh, we can get a Hastings. Okay, check out Hastings store. He he's killing it right now. Um, 
He's on fire. He's got an 18 and a 1. Okay. Uh, he, he looks like a good prospect. How about I should pick him up? Now, there's nothing for next week. Who am I going to get? Uh, let's just say they didn't play this week. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky and find somebody. Okay. So, and find something. But uh, very soon, uh, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, and that's very, very soon. So what we're going to start looking for is going to, we're going to have to go left field, right? You don't, you don't have to worry about these 200K players, and you're going to have to worry about something different. Uh, that's why I want to show you my next trade option. Now, similar to that King trade, uh, where we picked up a player with a low break even, remember when we got him, it was minus 23? Well, we can do the same thing over here. All right, so for example, get rid of Howes. Uh, we can get rid of McKercher. And let's get rid of Campbell, all right? Let's bring in, you now. let's bring in from Frio. Uh, and that's five. So we got, uh, five's got the low break even. So five comes in, let's push him over to the forward line. Let's bring in uh, under three games from the Gold Coast. Okay, um, where is he? Graham, and let's push him into that midfield, and uh, if you go to Adelaide, uh, we can bring in uh, Keane. Now, who's Keane, you might be asking me now. Let me just show you something. Okay, now this is going left field, okay, because we're trying to generate cash, and the cash ain't coming uh, from these rookies. So we need to find an alternative. Uh, this is the alternative now. Uh, well, five uh, can be used as a cash cow, but it's got break even at 26. However, with five, there's nobody else in that forward line anyway, so I might as well get five, okay? That's a, that's one of, uh, he's one player. The next one is Keen. Now, with Keen, his break even is minus 14, okay? He's already made 50k. We missed the boat last week, but I wanted to see him in action again anyway. Uh, with Keen, um, he scored a 118. And he scored a 90, gave away a 50-meter penalty, and that score of 90 could have been 100, okay? So he's got two 100s on his belt, uh, but he's also scored a 66, and that 66 <laughs> is the one that worries me, okay? So he got that as well. Then he plays against Carlton, and the Carlton's got the big boys. Uh, he should do well against Essendon and North. Uh, the, actually, the rest of you should do well. It's just the Carlton game might be a problem. But then again, Carlton do concede a lot of points, so he might do well. So this is another option. Uh, to my cash, because uh, we're, we're sort of running out of alternatives. And if I was to do this trade, all right, let's optimize. All right, if I did this trade, uh, what it gives me, um, it g fills up my back line anyway for now. Uh, Kane's not a keeper, all right, so he's only there. How much cash can he make uh, is another question. Uh, he can probably make... Probably get up to 450k. Probably gonna make 100k maximum. Okay, I can't see him making any more. Uh, if he's gonna average around about say 85, 90, it'll be about 450k ish. But at the same time, if he does that average, he holds that spot in in um in defence. So he holds up an 85 spot. We've got Williams holding up another spot. Uh, so that's something to consider anyway. That's that's another consideration. Uh, actually, why did I get Graham in there? Uh, oh, because got Dacos. Okay, well, we can actually keep him there and play Dacos in the midfield as well. So that actually works too. So you got sort of like Dacos playing in the middle, all right? So we've sort of freed up some spots. But that's another option. I'm just looking at left field now. Let me, find, let me see if I can find any more left field options. I'm looking for players uh, that are breaking, uh, well, going to smash their break-evens and may, may uh, go nuts, okay? Uh, Jake Saligo is a possibility um, if he has another big game this week. Now, his previous games are nothing uh, to talk about, okay? 18, 71, 58, then a big one, 128. And then he plays Carlton. That's a tough matchup for him. And then he plays uh, Essendon, North Melbourne, two easy games. Uh, so that's one player that could break out, but you're spending a lot of cash for this. 39k, uh, I'm not sure if I want to take that risk. Let's have a look who else is there. Let's go to round four points, and who else is breaking out? Uh, well, you got uh, 
You're Danaher, but he's 461 cases. He's not going to get a 600 case. So Danaher's out. Uh, Duggan, he's already 522k. Uh, Nick, these these are keeper prices. You got Nick Martin, he's 130, he's got 533k. So th- these prices are out. You're looking for a cheap one. Uh, is there anyone? I'm going through the list now. Uh, let's have a look more down. Someone cheap, but they wouldn't, there's nobody else. They're all they're all poo poo right now. Uh, actually, maybe because I went to running hots. Maybe I'll get rid of that running hot bit. All right, a top tier running hots. Okay, let's have a look now. Maybe we'll find somebody else. Uh, we're looking for cheap. And there isn't any. I mean, uh, the horny man. A break even of four. Uh, now, that's an option, okay? Uh, but it's a... Uh, he's got scores of 112, 132. Uh, you're not getting him as a keeper. Uh, you're getting him to make cash. He make he could possibly make a hundred k cash. I mean, if he scores, let's say he scores a ninety three and an eighty five, which is possible, he only makes sixty k. Uh, that's not enough. Okay, for that trade, uh, that's probably no good. The horny man, uh, Lloyd Meek. Okay, people have asked about Lloyd Meek. All right, we've got Lloyd Meek there. Break even of minus fourteen. Now let's see what he's projected. Uh, if he scores a sixty one, which he'll score more. Then a 75, he's going to make a bit of cash. Uh, he's got he's got Gold Coast this week. It's a tough matchup against uh, Wits. Uh, that's a tough one. Uh, then he's got North, and, and he's not easy either, the, the North Ruckman Sherry. Uh, he's, he's, he's an animal, okay, Sherry. Uh, then he's got Sydney. Uh, he's got Grundy, okay? Uh, that's a walkover. He's <laughs> an easy one for him. He'll probably even beat um, the Western Bulldogs uh, Ruckman English because he's not a good tap Ruckman. But then again, neither is Meek. Meek's more around the ground, Ruckman. So it's a bit tough for him. Anyway, so that's Meek. Uh, is there anyone else at that price range which we like that's not a Ruckman? Or well, that's Combin, which we're going to get anyway. Uh, there's Jeremy Sharp. Now, this is a problem. Uh, minus 51 is the break even. However, if he scores uh, 68, uh, 65. He makes uh, 54. He goes to 347k. That's not too bad. Uh, the ship might not have sailed with him yet. He could still... And he scored better than that before. He scored a 70, 63, 71. Anyway, uh, forget about that. Okay. Um, is there anyone else? Let's have a look going down the order. Uh, there's not many. Uh, Tom Mitchell. Uh, what's, what's he got? I'm, I'm not interested in Tom Mitchell. Or what's he got? Actually, Judd McVie, what does he have to offer? He's 373k. What's his break even? 45. What's his scoring history? Let's have a look. It's uh, not appealing, okay? Uh, probably just had a breakout game. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else because now the scores are getting too low. We need the big scores for the big jumps in prices. Well, I found two more, okay? Uh, Jeremy Cameron, he scored a 101. Uh, uh, the sign here says running cold because he is. Uh, if he scores another 100, he's playing North Melbourne, okay, this week. Uh, this break even is going to be very low, okay? So that's one option, but it's too highly priced, okay? So I don't really like the Jeremy Cameron option, but there is one that I do like, and that's McAndrew, okay? He priced at 304k, and we get to see him for another week against Hawthorne. And then he plays Sydney, West Coast, and the Brisbane Lions. Okay, so he's got good matchups coming up. So this is one we're going to keep an eye on, on McAndrew for next week. We may actually have to bring him in, and uh, especially if his break-even is very low, uh, make some cash out of him as a left-field option. That's one. Uh, that's one that I really like, actually. And and there's another one here. Uh, George Yardis, okay, is 230k. He scored... On his first game, a 99. He needs another big score here and against Frio. And then he plays Collingwood and St Kilda. Uh, so if he can get another, another 100 here, he's going to make some serious cash. All right, so we have to keep an eye on Georgiadis, okay? Uh, is there anyone else? Let's keep looking down. And I think they're the two. They're the main one. Well, there is one more. That's Ben Mackay. Okay, now he's got a break even of 18. Oh, it hasn't gone up much in price. And he's got two scores in the 90s, 98 and 91. So, uh, if he scores 98, 91, 
again, he's not going to make much. Okay, actually, uh, scrub this one off the list as well. Ben McCoy is not. Good. He's supposed to, if he was priced about two fifty k and had those scores, uh, that's when you're interested. That's why these other two boys are very appealing right now. So we just need a big game out of them. Now it looks like most likely these will be my trades this week. No boost. Okay, uh, Sexton and Howes out. Fife and Messi will come in. Okay, this is this is going to be look, most likely my trades. Um, I'm going to. Maybe pass on Martin. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to think about it. Uh, but at the moment, um, I can't bring him in. Okay, uh, it, it's, it's going to drive me nuts if I bring him in. He's going to run riot. He's, he's, he's going to poison the whole team. That's what's going to happen. I can't bring him in. By doing these two trades, uh, it also gives me uh, more opportunity for players like McKercher, uh Williams, uh, with low break-evens. Uh, to make more cash, even Campbell uh, gives him another week to generate a little bit more cash. Okay, we, we can maybe milk a little bit more out of them. Okay, because we didn't get rid of much. We got we got rid of uh, who do we get rid of? We got rid of Sexton, who's not even playing, and Howes, who who might not even get his break even. So we didn't get rid of much to to, to this trade. So most likely, uh, I'm actually happy with these trades. Um, in our forward line. Uh, if you don't have Fife, uh, you don't have to have him, okay? Uh, it's a risk, but there's nobody else, okay? We're desperate, so we have to bring him in. Uh, and he's highly owned anyway. How many people own him? 47% own him. So if 47% own Fife and he's scoring 100, and I'm one of those that don't own him, uh, I don't want to pay 500k for him when he's gone up in price, and then I have to... um. Uh, paid the extra 150k more than what everyone else has paid. Well, actually, everyone else would have paid 60k even less. So uh, I'm happy to pay 62k more right now because I've seen his role. Uh, I've also passed on these two bad scores. So I missed these two bad scores, seen his role. I'm more comfortable with Fife now. Okay. Well, as I was about to finish the program, uh, there's a small problem. Um, and the problem, uh, it's something you need to be aware of. Uh, it's actually possibly a massive problem and um i want to share it with you um let's for argument's sake say we've used two trades this week okay and uh, we've only brought in the one rookie uh messi okay messi came in now uh next week uh who's a, who, do, who do we targeting next week well they've got two rookies uh, that we want okay so uh, i spoke about him before all right there's there's uh, these two boys here um uh, where are they Played under three games, okay, and scored high. Uh, there's Combin, okay, and there's uh, Graham, okay. They're the two boys uh, that we liked. But what happens, okay? So we like them too. What happens, okay, next week if um, McAndrew and Georgiadis have a big score? Now, are we going to miss out on on um, on Combin? Okay. Are we going to miss out uh, on another rookie? Are we going to miss out on Ramsden? Okay, we've got Ramsden there as well. Uh, we don't want to miss out on these rookies. Uh, so you got Graham and Ramsden. What if Ramsden plays next week? Uh, kicks five goals. Uh, how are you going to bring him in? Okay, if you're going to bring in Graham, what if Graham has a big game? Uh, we have a big problem. Okay, and that is, I think we need to use a boost and bring one more of these in. Okay, just in case uh, the others break out. Now, the one I'm comfortable to bring in is Combin, because I know uh, at 227k, he's got a 129 under the belt. He's going to make some cash anyway. And I've seen his role, and, and North are no way going to get rid of him. So I'm more comfortable with Combin uh, than I am with Graham, in case uh, Graham has a bad game and they drop him. All right, so I think um, I'm going to have to go early on Combin as well, just in case. George Yardis uh, doesn't score a 100, okay? And McAndrew doesn't go nuts. Because if these two go nuts, I need to bring these two in. Uh, so uh, how am I going to do that with with three trades? You work it out. So let's, let's get back to the team now, okay? Uh, which then means, okay, um, Campbell now has to go out. Because there's no one else. I can't get rid of um, Darcy, Uh I can't get. I don't have enough cash from uh, Clark 
or, or any of these two. So it has to be Campbell. So Campbell comes out, all right? We're going to go early, and we're going to bring in uh, from North Melbourne, a plays I can afford, and it's going to have to be um, Combat in early this week. Uh, we're preparing. Now, if for argument's sake, say, uh, that next week um, the players that we mentioned didn't play well, well, we haven't wasted the boost because um, we only use two trades next week then instead of using three. Now, we will confirm those two trades uh, most likely on our Friday night press conference. Usually, uh, I don't change my trades uh, on Thursdays. Uh, so if it's if whatever I do by tomorrow, it'll stick like that. So I might even confirm it tomorrow um, on the um, Captain's Corner video when I do, when I produce that one, which should be uh, coming out uh, uh, tomorrow night, uh, or possibly Thursday. It depends. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for joining, and remember one thing: it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Ciao for now. That's all, folks.